Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, now I got another question. How long have you lived in the states? Did you come to the states as a young girl or more recently? I actually, um, Taye, I actually came to Canada first as a refugee at the age of probably eighteen. I arrived to Canada at the dead of winter, you know. Um, and then when I married my husband, we moved here around 2000 um we immigrated so he's a software engineer my husband is actually from ethiopia so we immigrated here uh and um ever since we've been living here our young oldest daughter was at the time i believe two years old and ever since we've been here yeah and we love it we love it we love California, honestly, it's very beautiful. Although with last election and leadership, there was um, different kind of energy to the point that I go, oh, I'm not sure I wanna live here. So we actually sold our, our house with the intention of moving to Oakland and to give the kids more diversity. Um, but at the same time, when I, Auckland makes me very sad now because with the economy, with the pandemic, now we start to see the disparity of uh, between the rich and the poor. You know, it's almost felt like the, the rich get richer and the poor get poorer, you know. And I am just not sure how I feel about that. Uh, for sure, I feel very sad and I feel like, maybe because i'm a nurse and i'm a human being really i i got very sad every time i see another being displaced you know and maybe because i was a refugee and i was one is stuck at a border and i know what it's like to be desperate and to be to be hoping a place to find belonging shelter love all of that thing that makes us the higher arc is that makes us human. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, now about the book, have you thought about doing a documentary or are you working on any other projects? I know you said you got another book in the works, but are you doing oh. anything else? Taya, I have to say you did. That's a very question. I actually thought about making documentary and I'm still, uh, I am trying to see how to go about it. Part of what I'm thinking is to write maybe uh, either a proposal or something. I really wanted to go back and make um, Somalia and I, Taye, owe each other closure. When you, the way I left it was, it was like a bird whose nest burned down and you, I flew in terror, right? Like the bird I just, flew in terror and never look back. And there is something that's forever got a grip on me. And that is my soul asking me, would you please get a closure? You know, you have an unsolved emotions. And, but however, every time I think of going back, I will be paralyzed by fear and nightmare, especially someone who is prone to nightmare. I contain it because I meditate and I take care of myself, but it's a trigger for those of us who seen gun. I almost, I describe in the book, um, being attacked by lions, or, you know, getting stuck at the borders, you know, almost being raped. I was a young girl when the war or was happening and the different clans wanted to damage each other by raping each other's daughters, you know? So I feel, like I need to go back. And so when I talked to my agent, she was like, you know, Shukri, whoever is gonna make this book to a movie may wanna have that right. But I think this may take longer. I think I, I still wanted to go back and have a closure. So recently I started slowly searching somebody who is willing to go and make that documentary. And I believe it has to be probably somebody, maybe a Somali or somebody. I feel like somebody, who can who can who have a pulse for the country because it is a very volatile, ever changing um, environment, Somalia. Oh wow, that would be amazing, most yeah. definitely. 
that will Some definitely i think then when i'm done with that and i will sleep better i feel like i wanted to visit in the book that i described you know live in bondere so i want to go back to the house i left all of the scenery i talk about the cathedral that burned down the bank my school there's a lot of places i want to um visit really uh, and have a closure and just to feel you know sift my fingers through the sand um you know somali sand there is um the song i can't remember by a famous so a singer i think her name is marian milson what does she used to say it'll come back to me there's a song she's she just sang to the land and i i guess when i'll i'll tell you later when it, it you know jump back into my <laughs> head oh okay um yeah so that's that's pretty much it i don't want to give it all away i want to leave some for the viewers but is it anything else that you you know want to leave them with or say before we get out? Oh, thank you. Honestly, um, the book is available. Let me see if I can correct my camera. So, the book is available wherever the book is sold. Um, it's available in audio. It's Kindle, in a Kindle form, and through Amazon and through Cooper. I tell people get it closest bookstore you have that is the best way to support um my it's actually this book is the editor is big for M at amazon so it was book of the month for both amazon and apple for when it find when it initially came out so really many people told me it gave them an insight to a world that is quite different than theirs and it was really very touching to uh, Taye to hear that. And I wanna really um, tell you, thank you for interviewing me. I really, I really appreciate, uh, it makes me very happy when youngsters are reaching out to me and, um, you know, getting this book, um, crossing um, cultures and bar culture barriers and difference and all of that. And then just saying, wow, this is really a good book. and. It makes me very happy to hear that. So I hope many people will try, you know, to get it and, you know, get it in all form. It's a very good, many people have been telling me they're getting it in many forms, like getting, giving family as gift and stuff like that. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you again. It's, it's definitely been an honor. Um, oh, it's, a, it's been an honor. And try to read it, Ty. I think you're going to enjoy it. If you're not a, re like some people don't like to, you know, read that much because we, we're moving. Sometimes you can just listen the audio. It's me and another lady. I just read the Somali proverbs and, and the, the other lady, she reads the, the whole thing narrating. And it's a really beautiful Kenyan accent. You'll enjoy it. Wow. Okay. Okay. Well, thank you everyone for tuning in. It's been another episode of Taye Speaks. Until next time, family. Peace. Yeah. Thank you, Taye. <laughs>